you have here uh, a sign that says, free the hostages from Hamas. What about the Palestinian people themselves who are hostages essentially to this, to this mafia? Do you think about that? So I think the world should put pressure on Hamas to give up the hostages, lay down their arms, and end the war. There'd be a ceasefire tomorrow if that were to happen, and I'm outraged that the world doesn't do that more. But if the uh, Israeli government claims that uh, Hamas must be eradicated, what would happen to the leadership of Hamas? There should be no leadership of Hamas. They're a terrorist organization. They should be eradicated for their crimes, and they should be put to trial for their crimes. But they're cowards and hiding behind Palestinian civilians, and that's what they're doing. And there's no reason for them to have any voice. And I'm outraged that the world is not outraged about what's going on and that the hostages. Can you imagine living a hundred days in a tunnel, in a dark tunnel, not knowing if you're going to live or die, if you're ever going to come home? Is it torture? The father. I have four daughters. Can you imagine being the father of a daughter stuck in there? Can you just imagine that for a hundred days, not knowing what's happening with your daughter? whether she's alive, dead, or whether they're committing sexual crimes upon her. We don't know. Yeah, it, it, would you consider it a war crime? Yes, of course. It's a war crime to grab them. It's a war crime to take hostages. Yes. Yeah, it's awful. Now, UCLA, they've had a terrible anti-Israel protests on the campus. Are you connected to UCLA? I am connected to UCLA. I'm alumni. Uh -huh. And it's abysmal, the conditions of that school and other big universities. And we saw the resignation of the president of MIT. And then we were gonna see the, uh, the, the resignation of the president of Harvard, although she went down on different things for plagiarism. But everybody should have a voice. But when that voice is hate, that crosses the line. Now, what do you think about uh, the defense uh, against these uh, Islamo-Marxist rallies? Are the Jews stepping up, for example, here where we're demonstrating, but it's not a counter to the much larger rallies. Do you think that, that we ought to be standing, or that you ought to be standing up, your people here in, in the city? Unfortunately, it's a very bad PR campaign, and the Palestinians, while they have a right to exist and a right to live in freedom and peace, this is their elected government in Gaza. They elected Hamas. And nobody seems to understand that or register that. Now, I know if I was a Palestinian living in Gaza and Hamas decided to build a tunnel underneath my home, I wouldn't want that to happen. But at some point, the people have to revolt against their government, which is Hamas. So they have to rise up. And why aren't they, the Palestinians, pointing out where the Hamas people are? Do they not know where they are? Do they not know there's a tunnel underneath my house? Do they not know there's a tunnel underneath the school? A tunnel underneath this hospital? They do, but they don't give them up for fear for themselves. I understand that fear, but I also understand you gotta step up and take care of the situation. If not, the constant bombing keeps continuing, which is counterproductive, I understand. But we gotta, at some point, get rid of Hamas. Do you also see in, in Canada uh, like uh, Concordia University, for instance, do you see these strong Islamo-Marxists gaining power? Much worse than in Los Angeles. Much worse. There's there's many more Palestinian people living there, and people that identify with the Palestinian struggle. And now, while I understand that there is a struggle, and they feel that the occupation has been occurred, none of these bombs would have happened had it not been for Hamas attacking Israel on October 7th. None of this would be going on. So people have to take notice of that fact. And Israel has a right to defend itself. And that's what it's doing. Sure, innocent people are getting dying. That happens in every war. Wasn't Canada part of the uh, Allied coalition in World War II? Yes, Canada was always a part of the coalition. And it's always gone with the US in every world war, in most conflicts, in fact. Unfortunately, right now, Canada has a very liberal uh, leader, uh, Justin Trudeau, who in my opinion got elected because of his father, Pierre Trudeau was the former prime minister, and uh, you know, they, they're scared to take a stance because there's so many people there that are pro-Palestinian.